Hi everyone, this is Diana. The gentleman sitting next to me is Stan. Welcome to my channel. We are getting ready to go to Boston from uh, Fort Lauderdale International Airport. Uh, what you see there now is the Hard Rock Hotel. At night, you can see the strings that are portrayed by laser lights beaming out of it. It's really cool. Now I'm getting ready. We're getting ready to take off. My least favorite thing to do in the world. I don't know if I, there's anything that I dislike as much as flying, but the only way to get from point A to point B is by flying. So today we are flying with Spirit Airlines in the big comfy seats in the front. And we were heading, we're heading to Boston for 11 days to visit my brother-in-law and his girlfriend Lois. So I will see you guys in a little while from Massachusetts. Enjoy the flight. Actually, I wanted to tell you one more thing. We are going to go, go fly over um, Dania Beach and a little bit of Fort Lauderdale Beach. So enjoy it. We are now getting close to Logan International Airport in Boston and getting ready to land. My next least favorite thing to do, but now I'm closer to the land and I'm closer to where I'm getting there, so I don't feel as stressed out. Um, I don't know what that is. I wish I knew what that was. Landing time. Look at that perfect shadow. We will be staying at my brother-in-law's house and his girlfriend's house in Wareham for the next 11 days. This is their back porch, which to me, it's beautiful. I love nature. I love all this woodsy stuff. As much as I do love the beach, I love the woods and the mountain just as much, if not more. Today we are heading on a road trip. We are heading to Plymouth, Massachusetts. On the way there, we are taking a little trip around Buzzards Bay, Onset, and Wareham, where they live. I love these homes. I hope you enjoy the ride.
really love this style of architecture. Um, I find it very quaint. It's, to me, it's even soothing to the soul. I just really like it a lot. I wish um, we could have these types of homes down here, but I don't think they'll survive our kind of hurricanes that we have. Just to me, it's beautiful. I believe we are, uh, we are in uh, onset because I think we are just going to be turning into onset beach. I want to, maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, this is where my brother-in-law and his girlfriend, they do come to this beach quite often. They're lucky. They live in, they think that I'm lucky because I live in Miami. And I think they're lucky because they live in Massachusetts and the weather there is just beautiful. In the spring, summer, and fall, I don't think I want to spend a winter there. I've been there in the winter time and it's not something that I really like. But anyhow, just... I just love what we're doing today, driving around town and getting to see all these beautiful homes. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So how cool is this bar? <laughs> I love that skeleton that you saw on the motorcycle. I think now we are heading towards Mass Maritime. That is the uh, train bridge. When the train comes um, from the mainland into Cape Cod, it comes down <clears throat> and the train uh, just crosses the, the river. So we definitely are going to uh, Mass Maritime Academy, which is the Merchant Marine Academy, where Stan attended to get his four-year degree before he joined the Navy also, and went to get his um, MBA in New York. This is, he, he tried to get in, but of course, I'm not going to let you in, especially now with COVID. What, I don't know, what was he thinking? Anyways, he went to school here. He played baseball here, and we're going to go in a few minutes and see um, the field where he played baseball at. And I, I'm very excited because I saw pictures of him um, with the scoreboard in the back, and now I get to see the field and the scoreboard. I think it's super fabulous, but that's me. I'm kind of geeky about that, and I love it. Um, the windmill that you see there is on the field. Very funny. There's a lot of those windmills around uh, the area. Here it is. The baseball field where Stanley played baseball. I love it. I'm going to do a U-turn. Now you're going to see some of the homes. Just around the school that um, I believe some do belong to the students here. There is a house just coming around the bend, <laughs> coming around the corner, that used to be a windmill. Had a it used to have a windmill on top. Now it's now it's just a house, and people actually do live there. The um, I did see a few cadets walking around, so I'm assuming school is. It's open and um, after this 
we are heading to Plymouth to enjoy the day there, just to walk around and enjoy the day. We have arrived in Plymouth, Massachusetts for the day. Here we are, Bill, Lois, myself, and Stan. Lois and I, and Stan and I. Now we are in Plymouth Bay, and those sails you see a little bit further away are the sails to the Mayflower too, the replica of the 17th century ship, the Mayflower. Now we're going to go and head to, this is a little walk, the little streets right by the port, right by the bay. Today they had a little demonstration. Uh, on one side of the street, it was Black Lives Matter, and on the other side of the street were some Trump people. It was very peaceful. And it was actually a nice thing to have a, a demonstration where there's no fighting and no argument. Just two people doing what they believe in, fighting for what they believe in, which is what makes this country such a beautiful country. So here we are going into the pier where the Mayflower is. And this tells you is a little memorial, uh, the Pilgrim Memorial Park. The uh, Mayflower was um, it was rebuilt in 1955, 1954, 1955, to look exactly like the original Mayflower. The original Mayflower landed in um, in Cape Cod, the very tip of Cape Cod, in 1620. It arrived with 102 passengers and 30 crew, and it came from Plymouth, England. Uh, in the first winter, half of the pilgrims, the original pilgrims, uh, died because it was such a harsh winter. The indigenous people, the Indians, did help them and teach them how to, how to um, work the land and other things to survive. Uh, the following year, they did the first um, the har first harvest festival, making it the first Thanksgiving, which was sixteen twenty one, with the Indians and the Pilgrims. The rest is history. Here's the Mayflower. I don't understand how a hundred and two people and thirty crew member were in that ship because if you guys see the ship inside, it's extremely small. And here is a picture, another picture of the bay. It's beautiful. The Plymouth Harbor is just gorgeous. And um, I really come here every time because I love it. We go eat at a little restaurant um, called Woods that, in my opinion, has the best New England clam chowder in New England. Uh, Lois and I went to... Um, legal seafood because they said they had great clam chowder well i like woods better now all around plymouth there they have these shells that are decorated with different kinds of arts different textures different um different every all of them are different and they're sponsored by different companies in the area i remember miami a while back they had um roosters this is where the Plymouth Rock is kept, and here is Plymouth Rock. Stan and his brother Bill. And the rock again, the rock was vandalized a few weeks ago. It was uh, painted white, but they cleaned it up pretty much, pretty well. Here's the monuments. And a little more of the Plymouth Rock. Now we are heading to a little village shopping, and we just went there to um, to walk around. It's very pretty, very quaint. They have little quaint stores that we saw. 
There's a little memorial to the veterans right at the entrance. And of course, the lobster. Very nice. Here's a little store and more little stores. Very nice little place. Oh, I, had, this is, I had been to Plymouth a few times, but I had never gone into this little area, which I really enjoyed it. And Stan and Bill played their little kids game that they always like to do. Another one of those shells. They're all so pretty. And here's Stanley playing around with Tigger. I don't know who that is. And here's a memorial to all the seamen's that gave their life at the sea. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will be loading videos about traveling and cooking, especially Cuban food every Monday and Thursday.